So image to video generation. So uh, using this script to be able to do this locally and eternally, or uh, how they say private compute. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do it. So basically this is one test uh, that I have been done to show you. So this is basically one is still, and then I generating the element so it can be used in the comp later on, right? Uh, Another test we can do, for example, is taking a fire element here and then let's use this as a guidance. And then I'm going to build this with you so you can understand how to do it. And then let's generate uh, this element now. So basically this is a fire moving C simulation going up okay save it and generate so this is just for you guys understand this is actually if i do the noise we can see so i'm using a consume grade workstation gpu so this is not so we don't go crazy with gpu and i'm out of VRAM and stuff so just a uh, normal workstation consumer grade GPU uh, and then we can see that it's now generating so here we go let's have a look and then you can see we got it the uh, still animated now and it's ready to be used and you know and do whatever you need to be done I know not just about elements, but actually a full shot. For example, I got uh, a pack shot here. Let's say, uh, you know, that I took from YouTube and then we can actually do the same thing. But instead of uh, moving, of course, we're going to do camera zoom in a uh, cup of coffee. Uh, pack moving let's see what happens this is taking a little bit longer probably it's using more uh, hardware let's have a look you can see that it's using a little bit more but we'll be we'll get that you know at least it's private all right and we got that let's see how it's animating Ooh, someone even grabbed the car <laughs> but you see that is some the camera moving but you know it's all driving by the text so we need to uh you know text properly and yeah pretty much that's it so let's do this now and let's build this workflow and why uh each node is doing what and and why you need to be installed so what we need to have it's basically two things you need to have confi y for nuke I'm going to leave the link in the description so you can follow along as well as the COG Video X Warper. So with this two install, this one is in Confi side, this one is in Nuke side. You're going to be able to follow along and do this for yourself as well. So let's do this. So let's expand this so we can see a little bit better nodes. The first one we need is load clip. Whoops. Load clip always going to need that. And in case this is not showing to you, you need to update to get out the nodes in here. Uh, as load clip is done, let's resize our image. Otherwise, you're going to explode your GPU. So to resize the image, so it gets more to the training, which I believe was training on this resolution. Then we're going to need cog text and code. So this one is where you prompt your stuff and then, of course, you need one from positive and another one for the negative. So in case you don't know, the positive, it's where you, you type what you want. So in this case, you want uh, a fire and flames moving up simulation. And for the negative, so the second one is negative, you stuff where you type things that you don't like, things that you don't want the model to generate. So in this case, I'm just putting like this. 
Okay, so next step now. See, we are getting there. So we resize, we have our encode, and then we have our uh, positive prompt and our negative prompt. So now the fun, which is the module. So you see our module. And then you see that it's download or load. So in case you don't have the mod yet, the mod is going to be downloading automatic, which is really handy. In this case, we want to use, there's a bunch of versions. So 2 billion parameters, 5 billion. And then the one that we want is this one, uh, image to video. So ITV, which is we want to make this image movement. So ITV model. And then precision, it's, depends on your GPU. So if you want to use uh, FP32, which is the fluid points, more the better, but now use the case because it's gonna be using a lot of more compute. So you need a lot of more GPU uh, uh, RAM and it's gonna take a lot more if your GPU is weaker. So BF16, which is mainly for the last generation of cards. So only use this if you have the last generation of cards. This one, it's for more common, uh, but it needs a lot. And this one, it's just a clamp version of 32. Depending on your GPU, you have to choose one of these versions because I'm using the latest one. I'm gonna keep BF16. In case you don't know, BF16, it's, uh, it's, uh, it, it, it mix, we call it mix at precision. So it makes both 32, 16, and try to use only 32 when needed or 16 when not needed, the full points of calculation. So it makes things faster and lighter as well. So, let, But you need the latest gen of GPUs for that. Okay, we got our model, fun. So now we need to encode our image. So where is encode? So we need to cog encode, image encode, see there? So this is responsible to encode our image. So let's add our image here. So you see the pipe, we have the image, we resize to the training, which is better because it's the same that has, the model has seen during training and we are encoding to the model. So now we have everything, we need to combine everything together. So to do that, we need something called sampler. This one, it's going to combine everything we have done so far. So positive, remember positive, it's what we want to be generated. Negative, what we don't want to be generated. Uh, pipeline, which is our model. So why we have decided, remember image to video, otherwise you could just generate videos from tests, next. And then that is one hide one here, see there? This is the image conditioning. So this is where this guy is encoding and give to the model here. There is one other missing here because we have our pipeline there and we need our pipeline here because we need to tell the encoder and the sampling that's all the same, right? So now we got everything linked together, same resolution as our encoding, so same training. Uh, this is scheduling, can uh, play around and see which one works best for you. Steps is how many of the denoise are gonna be working. So we can you can look around and see what this, uh, this is pretty common on diffuse type of models. So it's, you can have a look around. I'm gonna keep as default right now. The only thing I'm gonna change is the seed. So let's create some value in here. Or you can just randomize if you want. So even easier. And now we need to turn all of this into a decoder. So we have encode our image. We have load and encode all your texts. Everything combined with the module and the pipeline for the module. Now we need to encode this thing and decode later, which is this guy is going to do this for us. Uh, you can keep default right now, but you can play with these options and see how this affects as well. 
Uh, this one sometimes tends to help if you have a weaker GPU, but sometimes you can change the quality as well. So there is stuff you can play around here. So let's save our image. So you can do XR if you want, but let's keep simple. So save our image. I'm going to call this two, two. And now let, we need to prompt this friend. Cool. Doom. And there we go. We got the generation. Let's have a look. Let's go back to the first frame and play. And here we go. We got it. Remember that the name you put in there is the name you got the file, but I do recommend you play, you do the proper color spacing later and you also write what project, right? So you make sure it's all properly done uh, on your new script later. So we don't tie to the read from Confi, vice versa. All right, so that's it for image to video and uh, See you next time.